simple vehicle that does a simple job and it does it well. This thing has one of the largest aftermarket supports for any car, really. One, two, you can mod your Honda Civic to crazy levels. I'm not looking for anything crazy performance-wise, because if you want performance, I would easily recommend the Type R, no doubt about that. Welcome back to the channel, guys. And today, we get a 2021 Honda Civic, the base model. Because again, this is sucked on cars and we're gonna start off with humble beginnings. We're gonna start off with the base models. But still, this is a cute little beauty. And this is a 2021 version. Just a nice little humble car. Beautiful features though, front wheel drive. Pushing 158 horsepower from a four cylinder. And we're obviously gonna take this baby out for a test drive. But some cool new features. This one is the nice, beautiful blue. I wanna say it's a navy blue color for the exterior. And those headlights just make it look so, so aggressive though. For a little car with 158 horsepower with a CVT transmission attached to it. It's not bad though, and this baby is no slouch either though, and this one does come with standard fumble drive, and if we hop into the back seat real quick, you can see I got tons of room, again, also a lot of red headroom as well too, you can see our huge infotainment system, we're gonna get to that soon, back seat, you know it comes standard, with our cup holders in the back as well too and no sounds no speaker on the door unfortunately though but the front seat makes up more than enough for it too though we get a sunroof so that's a huge plus as well and this thing is arguably the most fuel efficient vehicle on the planet not much can compete with the honda civic especially for bang for buck you can get this car for around 22,000 Canadian. And for my American friends, I can't tell you what that would mean for you. Trunk space is huge as usual, with a spare tire and a lift kit in the bottom as well too. Again, this is the base model, so we're not gonna get anything too crazy, but it does have a lot of driver assistance features that I will show you right now. So in the inside, you're greeted by a massive seven inch screen with Apple CarPlay and Android Auto and Honda Link, which is Honda's personal, I wanna say Apple Link. Think of BMW's apps that it uses, but made for Honda, which is honestly just much better as well too. And since this is a Honda, it's gonna be super reliable. And some of the coolest features this thing has is if you signal, to turn right to your passenger side, the camera does this. It shows you what's beside you, so you don't really have to look at your blind spot, but as a good driver, you always should look at your blind spot as well too. But of course, like it's a Honda Civic as well. No, I don't wanna get copyright striked. And let's just quickly go over what's on our steering wheel real quick. We got heated seats down here, our AC and climate control on this side as well. Here we get our options, toggle through the menu, and volume, volume up, volume down, cruise control, lane assist. Like we have a lot of things going on. Traction control and front crash sensor to see if we're gonna crash into something. It's gonna give us a little alert too. And power windows, automatic seats so we can move back and forth easily without having to push ourselves forward. Auto brake hold, so if I press the brake on this one and if I let go of the brake, the car should not move at all. Like my, my hands are free right now, car is not moving, so that's good. And this one is push to start. And since it's the Honda Civic, we got econ mode to save you tons of gas. But of course, we're gonna be on econ off just so that you get a real feel for what it feels like to drive the car. We're gonna take it easy, gonna put it in drive. We do have sport and lower levels, 
for lower gears, all my car nerds know. And with 158 horsepower powering the front wheels in a nimble little car like this, this thing has one of the largest aftermarket supports for any car, really. Zero to 60 comes well above six seconds as usual. But again, we're not getting a Honda Civic for the performance. Because if you really want to, you can mod your Honda Civic to crazy levels. We all know people who modify cars. They would have a Honda Civic pushing 158 horsepower, attach a turbo to it, upgrade the transmission, get the gear tires, and just go wild on the streets. Firstly, we're not gonna do that for this one though, but again, this thing has the largest aftermarket support for any car brand. And it is not to be trifled with. Handling is excellent. This thing is really nimble. Reaction time for this car is really, really good. And the transmission, the CVT, arguably one of the best for this Honda Civic generation specifically, is really good. And right now, let's say we put this baby in sport mode. We get a ton of low end torque. Still acceleration is pretty good for such a small sedan like this, pushing around 158 horsepower. It's not bad, it's not bad at all. Much you know me, if a car has this one thing, I'm always happy. If a car always has this one feature, I smile. And that feature is the moonroof. And I'm always gonna put to vent because I always wanna feel like I'm a race car driver. And this just provides some, some extra downforce. Since this one is like the base model, we don't have no spoiler. This is no sport mode. It doesn't, this is no sport model, I mean. So we don't get anything too crazy, but since it's a Honda Civic, it's gonna outlast any other competitor in the long run, really. Like these things can take a beating and they are simple to work on. Of course, we always recommend that you get yourself a Lexus mechanic if you decide to fix up your car or do basic maintenance. But if it's something like changing a wiper, it's nothing complicated. Cause I do know some BMWs with how fancy BMWs are, they have a mode where you can set the wipers to called service mode. The Honda Civic doesn't need that because it's a simple vehicle that does a simple job and it does it well. Now you might ask, what is that simple job? I'll let you know. That simple job is to get you from point A to point B with maximum efficiency and safety. This thing gets a good 9.5 rating from most car review guys. And I'm a simple man, so I tend to agree with them. You guys already know, this is like just simple man reviews on a whole bunch of cars. And as you, some of you guys can clearly tell, I'm not the biggest car nerd. I'm a simple man who has access to some cars and I'm gonna give you my honest feedback of what I think of this car. And honestly, Honda Civic is not bad. The sound system is pretty good as well too. And the AC is doing a lot of work right now trying to keep me cool in this hot weather we're in currently. So let's compare to some of its direct competitors. Let's take the Toyota Corolla for example. This thing compared to a Toyota Corolla, I should make a YouTube video about that too. Compared to a Toyota Corolla, I would honestly choose the Honda Civic because it just looks more stylish. It has more aggressive body lines. It is just much more appealing to look at. And with the huge aftermarket support, we can tune or customize your Honda Civic to any kind of way. And the four cylinder is not quiet either too. When you really want it to make noise, it makes noise. And nimble little car, decent amount of horsepower. And of course, stopping power is immaculate. It's a light little car and pretty affordable to most people. So you already know they're gonna, they're not gonna cut out on important things like brakes and stopping power. Now since it's a Honda Civic, it is really 
really simple to work on as well too which is a huge plus in my book one thing that kind of stands out to me is how much I can hear what's going on in the road because usually most people have music going on unfortunately for me I cannot do that because copyright will strike me down real quick so in this scenario we just have the road ambience to guide us right now and you can hear a lot from the road every little bump you can hear it but then again you can also hear your little engine in the front of the vehicle purring which is honestly pretty nice still like that feature though that shows you your passenger side blind spot which is a pretty neat addition to the Honda Civic but overall this is a quite a nice little car 10 out of 10 would recommend anyone to buy this car if you're not looking for anything crazy performance wise because if you want performance I would easily recommend the Type R no doubt about that but with the Civic it's simple it's efficient and it does the job so well that you don't have to worry about a lot of things you don't have to worry about the car breaking down on you you don't have to worry about any of those excess stuff just you need to have to do your daily maintenance and you should be good for pretty much any situation with the Honda Civic and if we decide to go into the lower levels that you guys have been waiting for but into lower levels this thing red lines aggressively this thing runs ice to like revs up to 8000 rpm put it in lower level and if we could step on it you kind of hear the little engine wake up just a little bit this thing i would say wakes up at around 3500 rpm that's what i would suspect is its ideal power band there we go And this thing is light and nimble those two combinations with a decent amount of power makes for a fun little driving experience you're not gonna be racing anybody you're not gonna be outrunning anybody but you're gonna enjoy driving this little piece of Honda heaven that's what I'm gonna call it now this little piece of Honda heaven cuz Honda did put some effort into this and you can tell and you can feel it now quick acceleration testing we're at 50 and go and we're going uphill too not bad especially since we're going uphill gigantic backup camera and one more last walk around with this little bad boy Mm -mm. This has been fun. Now I gotta give it back to Enterprise. But overall, 10 out of 10 would buy this fun little car and will probably opt out for the higher models as well, too. But this has been Morty signing off. Peace.